Hello everybody a very warm good evening to one and all This is Rajni from Sashak Empowering Lives and today I bring you a video on a very important topic Actually I was planning to make a video on yet another topic but this is so important that we are now going to be talking about this first it is called virtual autism I have been hearing this for so many times now from so many people different platforms parents who are worried who are just running coming over and questioning my child got virtual autism the very definition that these people these poor people have been and the reason i say poor people poor parents it's not about rich or poor but poor in terms that it is so wrong to give that kind of an understanding to a parent virtual autism by very definition of it means your kid was born without autism your kid did not have autism just because you as a parent showed the child too much television and the child turned autistic because of the screen nothing here can be farther from truth this is absolute nonsense statement autism for the past 40 years the research has been going on and it is going on at a very vast level we do not have any documentary evidence there is nothing that can you know thumpingly say that autism happens because of this they have tried mmr they have tried whatever different things autism happens because of stress now i have a question for everybody covid came in 2019 tell me with your hand on your heart how many of you who are parents okay who have let's say two children one of them is on the spectrum one of them not on the spectrum how many of you have sold off your tvs your children were not watching tv were not watching mobile is it like that before covid our children were still watching tv then why is it and every baby was watching only screens the covid babies then why is it that some babies developed autism and some did not like people say oh stress causes autism you know i was a bad wife i fought with my husband they are living in that guilt for christ sake i caused autism to my kid because i was pregnant and i took guilt i took stress no if stress causes autism then depressed mothers should give birth only to autistic children children in the red light areas that are born to these caged people they should only be autistic imagine the kind of stress those ladies would be going through but it doesn't happen that way you have regular children over there you have regular children in terrorist camps which are being born out of sexual slavery so the point here is we don't have any authentic proof so when a so called specialist tells you you know here is your diagnosis your kid was not born autistic but because of the covid times and you only made the kid watch tv the kid turned autistic please do not believe such a person because what it is going to do that it is going to ruin the life of the child you know why a parent who goes back home with a heavy heart my kid will suffer the rest of his or her life my kid became disabled ek to the soch is itself is wrong okay this thought itself is wrong but anyway a parent goes back home with you know because of me my kid became disabled had a neurological disorder you know the big big words that we put associate with autism if only i would not have shown tv this kid would have been fine imagine a person who is so charged with guilt how will they work they their their system is not open they are very very full inside they are all the time thinking so if they get two failures when they are working with the child trust me the third time they are finished they will be in the depth of depression thinking all sorts of negative thoughts that's what people tell me when they come to me they say i i really want to die and i want to kill my kid you know all sorts of things they are talking why because they feel a i made it b now i can't change it okay see what's going to happen to the future of my child for christ sake guys autism is not caused because of screen watching even if it is screen sucking that is not a documentary evidence there is nothing to back this data anybody telling you virtual autism haath jod do unko tell them virtual autism does not exist why autism happens we have no clue nobody has a clue nobody no research has proved it till date they are trying to find out 
it happens at the inception stage it happens when the sperm and ovum meet and a baby is formed something happens there at that time god knows what we don't know there is nothing to support any theory once a kid is born the kid is born then if the kid has autism the kid has autism if the kid does not have autism the kid does not have autism the least that the screen can do is a kid was born with autism but because there was no intervention because the situation and circumstance was such the kid was only watching the screen and then probably it kind of deteriorated two steps more which in any case if autism existed it would manifest if it would not manifest at 2 and a half it would manifest at 4 if it was so less so less it would manifest at 6 but it would manifest because it's a part of the child system so what i'm trying to tell you is first of all if you are somebody who's been given that heinous diagnosis of a virtual autism please tear it and put it in the dustbin your kid has autism because that happened at the inception of the baby stage nothing anybody could have done to avoid it and right now the only thing you have to do is accept it with grace start working on the child's progress many people today are hell bent on trying to empower parents and communities to understand this i am one of those so join my webinar that happens every friday 7 pm to 10 pm i will leave no stone unturned to empower you as a parent so that you can handle your child's situation and live guilt free so please understand just because you fought with your husband or your wife your kid has autism no just because you you know you had mmr vaccine given to your kid the kid has autism no just because your kid looked at the screen the kid has autism no why did your kid have autism because god wanted it that way is there a better explanation i'm sure there would be the day we find it we will publish it right now we don't have it is in the experiment stage in the trying to find out investigation stage i hope this video takes a little bit of burden off some of the parents who are anxious and crying at night my dear brothers and sisters don't cry don't worry your kid did not get devastated because of you your kid is safe your kid is fine your kid is a different software you just have to learn how to operate the software and trust me your kid like so many hundreds of my students and my son who are doing so well will do well learn how to run this software learn how to teach your kid and that's all you do and last but not the least shukrana punjabi mein bolte hain yeah gratitude that thank you god my life is safe my kid is safe my kid will learn autistic children are very intelligent to so, teen time shukrana gratitude in your heart hard work dedication give it 5 years i promise you you will not regret on that note may each kid win